Beggar Prince, the story of Weedle and his gifts from the Daedric Lord Namira. We look down upon the beggars of the Empire, these lost souls of the poor and wretched of the land. Every city has its beggars. Most are so poor they have only the clothes on their backs. They eat the scraps the rest of us throw out. We toss them a coin so that we don't have to think too long about their plight. Imagine my surprise when I heard the tale of the beggar prince. I could not imagine what a prince of beggars would be. Here is the tale I heard. It takes place in the first age when gods walked like men and Daedra stalked the wilderness with impunity. It is a time before they were all confined to oblivion. There once was a man named Weedle, or maybe it was a woman. The story goes to great lengths to avoid declaring Weedle's gender. Weedle was the thirteenth child of a king in Valenwood. As such, Weedle was in no position to take the throne or even inherit much property or wealth. Weedle had left the palace to find independent fortune and glory. After many days of endless forest roads and tiny villages, Weedle came upon a three men surrounding a beggar. The beggar was swaddled in rags from head to toe. No portion of the vagabond's body was visible, and the men were intent on slaying the beggar. With a cry of rage and indignation, Weedle charged the men with sword drawn. Being simple townsfolk, armed only with pitchforks and scythes, they immediately fled from the armoured figure with the shining sword. Many thanks for saving me, wheezed the beggar, from beneath the heap of foul rags. Weedle could barely stand the stench. What is your name, wretch? Weedle asked. I am Namira. Unlike the townsfolk, Weedle was well learned. That may name meant nothing to them, but to Weedle, it was an opportunity. You are the Daedric Lord, Weedle exclaimed. Why did you allow these men to harass you? You could have slain them all with a whisper. I am pleased you recognize me, Namira rasped. I am frequently reviled by townsfolk. It pleases me to be recognized for my attribute, if not my name. Weedle knew that Namira was the Daedric Lord of all things gross and repulsive. Diseases such as le leprosy and gangrene were her domain. Where others might have seen danger, Weedle saw opportunity. O oh, great Namira, let me apprentice myself to you. I ask only that you grant me powers to make my fortune and forge a name for myself that will live through ages. Nay, I make my way alone in the world. I have no need for an apprentice. Namira shambled off down the road. Weedle would not be put off. With a bound, Weedle was at Namira's heel, pressing the case for an apprenticeship. For thirty-three days and nights, Weedle kept up the debate. Namira said nothing, but Weedle's voice was ceaseless. Finally, on the thirty-third day, Weedle was too hoarse to talk. Namira looked back on the suddenly silent figure. Weedle knelt in the mud at her feet, open hands raised in supplication. It would seem you have completed your apprenticeship to me after all, Nimira declared. I shall grant your request. Weedle was overjoyed. I grant you the power of disease. You may choose to be afflicted with any disease you choose, changing them at will so long as it, as it has visible symptoms. However, you must always bear at least one. I grant you the power of pity. You may evoke pity in anyone that sees you. Finally, I grant you the power of disregard. You may cause others to disregard your presence. Weedle was aghast. These were not boons for which a fortune could be made. They were curses, each awful in its own right, but together they were unthinkable. How am I to make my fortune and forge a name for myself with these terrible gifts? As you begged at my feet for thirty-three days and thirty-three nights, so shall you now beg for your fortune in the cities of men. Your name will become legendary among the beggars of Tamriel. The story of Weedle, the Prince of Beggars, shall be handed down through the generations. It was as Nimira predicted. Weedle was an irresistible beggar. None could see the wretch without desperately wanting to toss a coin at the huddled form. However, Weedle also discovered that the power of disregard gave great access to the secrets of realms. People unknowingly said important things where Weedle could hear them. Weedle grew to know the comings and goings of every citizen in the city. To this day it is said that if you really want to know something, 
Go ask the beggars. They have eyes and ears throughout the cities. They know all the little secrets of their daily lives and its citizens. Okay. So, let's start being nice to beggars and the homeless, I guess. <laughs>